All right, so today we are gonna be talking about a subject that hits close to home for me and I'm sure for many other people watching this video. It has to do with the scale. The scale can be a big tool for our health in a positive way, but also as perfectionists, women, we tend to want to be perfection and see perfection in everything. So the scale can also become something that really hurts our mindset really quickly. And I've seen this multiple, multiple times in other people and myself, even if I have a great mindset, I'll step on the scale and I'll get really discouraged. And there are so many other tools to test how you're doing, how you're eating. And so I really just want to bring a light to it to help you understand a little bit about what's going on in your mind when you step on the scale. So a lot of the times we'll start some new eating plan. You know, maybe you're doing the 10 day detox. You want to see some great results and you know, you'll step on there and maybe you've lost weight or maybe you've gained weight. And so, you know, you've been on this plan for a few days and you were feeling really good, you're eating really healthy, and then you step on and it's gained. And immediately we cut ourselves down. We look in the mirror and we're just like, oh, you're right, I, I do look bigger and I feel not as confident. Whereas just before you stepped on the scale, you were feeling great, you were feeling on cloud nine, you felt like you looked good, and your clothes were fitting great, and then you step on and immediately discouraged. And so there are so many other tools we can use besides the scale. The scale can, like, it, it's not, you're not gonna get on there and it's gonna be like, you've been eating so healthy or you've been eating so bad. You know, maybe you worked out a lot, your muscles are sore. When you're really sore, your body holds on to water and the scale is going to weigh more. When you drink lots of water, on the detox we drink lots of water, in Mindset Nutrition I encourage water. You know, maybe you're stressed, There's maybe you've been eating really healthy foods and your body is just healing and honestly, there have been times when I have weighed less and I've taken pictures and I look better and healthier at a higher weight than I did at a lower weight. And so the scale is just one tool you can use and I encourage people to use many other tools besides the scale. If you can, I would recommend weighing maybe once every month just to you know have that as your tool in the back of your in the back of your tool belt and to use it like that and not to use it as a step on every day be discouraged hate yourself or it's kind of like i see it as the stock market you either you, you buy and it's kind of like a i'm happy if i'm making money but i suck if i'm not and so I don't want you to be getting on the scale every day because immediately it puts in our head, oh, you are, you are Ashley and you weigh this much and you've gained weight because of this and therefore you are not worth it and you are doing something wrong and all that eating healthy has gone to waste. And a lot of people will be eating so healthy They'll, they'll be doing great and then they'll get on the scale, they'll have gained weight and they'll give up. They'll, they'll think, oh, it's not working, I quit, I'm gonna go bingey, I'm gonna go overeat on all these foods that I wasn't allowed to have because the scale told me that I'm not worth it and so I'm just gonna give up. And so I just wanna encourage you, you know, other tools you can use you can take before pictures, you can take pictures to see, you know, the inflammation that you've lost, the, how, how much better your skin looks. You know, there's like when you drink water, your skin looks so much better and you'll lose inflammation in your face and your body when you just eat healthy, you'll feel more energized, you'll probably even look a lot happier. Like in, in 
photos you take after taking care of yourself for a certain amount of time. There's also just in your clothes size, your clothes will fit better when you exercise, when you move, when you take care of your body, when you drink water and feed yourself yummy, healthy foods. And so I just wanted to say that this is a tool. I'm not against the scale, but for a lot of people, it can become a negative thing in our life if we are doing it, if we are obsessed with it, and if it's all we're using to determine how worthy we are to either eat healthy or to not eat healthy.